Hello everybody and welcome back to ARK, Prehistoric Punks on the Beach. So, oh man, this day, this whole series has been marred in tragedy. Nothing goes right for us. In fact, I would go so far as to say everything goes wrong. But, that's the gist, right? If you can take that, you can come back from it, then uh, that's the mark of a true explorer. So we've got some, uh, some good news. The meat that we had from last session has decomposed. So it's all rotten meat now. We need to go around and gather up some narco berries. And then that way we can get the narcotics we need to perhaps tame a Gallimimus this time. Oh god, I just hit horse. So it's pretty dark, so you probably can't see what I'm doing that much. So I'm just going to gather the narco berries and get back to you when I've got a whole stack in my hand. Okay, 150 narco berries. That should be enough to get started. So I read in a Reddit post that you guys told me how I can tame a horse. You don't actually use narcotics to tame those things. Instead, you actually use carrots, go up to them, and then try and ride them. And as you're riding them, you tame them, as long as you can keep feeding them carrots. So the key is for us to find some rock carrots, see if we can get that on the go again. Nope, our dinosaur didn't level up. I think it was me. Oh, no, it did. There we go. Add some weight allowance to Aurora. Man, she's been with us for a while now. She's a good girl. Man, narcotics for days. Okay, well, let's level up then, because we've got to level up from all this sweet, sweet crafting. Uh, now, I've been going into water and food. That's a good idea. Uh, some of you other guys said stamina is a good thing, but I'm going to be riding dinosaurs, so there's not much point in that. Fortitude might be something worth uh, leveling up. Hmm, now there is an idea. If in doubt, put it in health. Okay, so let's make a few more narco arrows. Six should be enough, and let's see if we can tame a Gallimimus at last. This time it's going to go our way, I'm fairly sure. It's getting to daytime. Honestly, with this many narco arrows, I think I could down a low-level Diplodocus. And if I could do that, I could ride that with a saddle. Problem is, they can't be very quick. They must be slow. So there's no point. I, I could never get over to Duncan with that in mind. So I saw some Gallimimus over here before. Our old friend Gigantosaurus is nowhere to be seen. Oh, hello. What are you? That looks like a Gallimimus. But be careful. We're getting into Giganto territory now. This is where that mother trucker has been spotted before. So any second now, he could come truncing up and make a meal out of me. Oh, there's two. What are they doing? Have I caught them mating? Oh, I wonder how dinosaurs actually did mate. I, actually, I don't. I don't want to think about that. Okay, looks like they're stuck on each other. Wow, what's this? Level 7. That's the one for me. Okay, he's down. Once in the head. Twice in the head, let's try. Move! Okay, and once in the butt? I'm not sure. Might kill him. We'll find out now. Okay, he's trying to run. Let's give him one more shot in the butt. He's definitely stuck, isn't he? Yes, he's down! This is it. This is the one. Inventory. Measure berries. And narcotics. And we can see his torpidity here, which is how much he's been knocked down. Now I have a theory that higher level Gallimimus are easier to tame. Because their torpidity can go even higher. They get a higher max torpidity. The last one we tamed had like six, seven hundred or something like that. But this one only goes up to five, seven, one. Yeah, we're definitely going to tame this sucker. Look at that, taming 20.9% already. Just got to be careful we don't poison him to death with narcotics, because they can't be good for you. Maybe you can OD on narcotics, I don't know. These dinosaurs, though, they're tough. They're tough sons of guns. Unless they get attacked by little shitty dog dinosaurs on the beach. And then they're freaking toast! Man, with a Gallimimus under my wing, I'm going to have the speed that I need to get a forward command post near where Duncan is. Now, I have I had a bed. There it is. I'll put that down in my base here so that we have our main base. But this isn't really a main base. I want to make our main base out of stone, and I want to make it much closer to Duncan. But I'm going to grab a team up. Actually, I can't bring my dinosaurs over, can I? That'd be a long, long journey for them. I don't think they'd survive it. Oh, he's very close. He's so close. Man, this is so quick compared to last time. You know what the key is? Having enough narcotics to start with. We've got a nice selection to go forwards with. Let's just keep an eye out for old uh, old Barry the uh, Barry the Gigantosaur. Rip in peace, Pocahontas. But your memory lives on in our new male Gallimimus. We're still going to give him a female princess name, though. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Yes! Here we go! And this is Mulan. 
Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Can't make a saddle yet, but we're going to head back to base. He should be following. And I'm going to make a saddle to ride you. Oh, you're going to be so quick. Gallimimus is also super low health. So I've got to be careful. Any other dinosaurs that I meet are going to potentially wreck my day. So let's take out 100 Tintos and uh, 80 of these. Leave the rest for old Aurora. We'll give this dinosaur some food, actually. Because he must be hungry. Oh, he's got all of my narcotics. Oh, my God. Keep the Mechos. You'll be fine with those. So how are my boys doing? Food is tip-top. Everyone's in working condition. Let's see what I need to make saddles. Gallimimus. So I need some more hide, which we have loads of. In it goes. And I need some more wood, which we have some of. But it's just a short hop, skip, and a jump over here to where there is a tree. Yeah, 47 wood. Noise. God, there's so many dinosaurs. We're having real trouble moving around. We need to make a, a proper pen for them to live in. Bam. Saddle done. Saddle up, boys. So where are you, Mulan? Here you go. Take the saddle. All right. Now it's time for a speed test. So Aurora, stop following. No one's following. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, shit my pants, are you okay? She's fine. Oh god, go, go, go. Not like this. Oh yes, Mulan. You are the hero we deserve. Now, she is low on health. So, I've got to be super careful. But she is so quick. Okay, so don't hold down shift because that's sprint. Oh, there's some rock carrots down here. Gallimimus has a level up. Do we go for speed? Or do we go for health? Do we go for speed? Movement speed. 1%. That sucks. Let's, let's see how quick she goes. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, let's see if we can dash to the other end of the island super quick. This is so cool. Okay, we're heading on over to Duncan's place to make a forward operations base. This is so cool. Look at the speed this thing has. So we'll take the coast because I imagine the coast to be the safest. Also, while we're doing this, we're going to get some exploration done. I haven't gone much further outside of the island. This is so fast. Okay, let's go normal speed. Get some stamina back, girl. Oh, she does it so super quick. I keep calling her a she when it's definitely a he. Old Mulani. Oh, this is the staging point for my first base. So... So much regret for that. That's a Diplo. We better be careful. Give him a wide berth, because if he knocks us off the mountain, that could one-shot this dinosaur. The deadliest thing for the Gallimimus at the moment is his own speed. If he's going so quick, he might run himself off a cliff and kill himself. Oh, man, we're going to find all the different weird, cool dinosaurs on this trip. What the hell is that? A giant snake? I'm going to give it a wide berth because I don't know what it does. And it probably will one-shot me. Oh my god, big bugs. Let's be quick. Okay, we're riding down into this. This is like a snake pit. You're overheating. Oh no. I'm overheating, so it's time to take off some clothes. There we go, bare-chested. Much better. Oh, look at me. I've got my shirt off. Let's take off my hat, too. It's going to get me a bit hot. Probably my gloves as well. Oh, yeah. Real prehistoric punk now. Fuck me. What is that? Why is it glowing red? Yeah, we're going to dodge that T-Rex, I think. That red Rex of doom. I mean, as bad as the Gigantosaur seemed, at least he wasn't glowing red. What is that? Ah, what the hell? Hello, what are you? Are you friendly? Looks like you are. Whew. Close one. So there's killer ants, you should be careful of. They did a little bit of damage to old Mulan. Okay, so we've dodged the T-Rex, I think. Let's get back to the beach. Let's go see if we can find these rude dudes then. I'm going to find their base. I'm going to scout these suckers out. This is amazing. I love just being able to explore like this. Just nothing between me and the wild. I am going to do a poo, though. There you go. Quick, quick drive by poo. Mark my territory. 
Let's go up here. Because I'm pretty sure that those guys are in this region. But I also have to be careful because there are other things in this region too. Like that thing. That is a T-Rex. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, massive regret. I think I've just wandered into the, the lair of the Rex. It's time to get out of here before the babies come back. Careful. Careful, Galley. Galley ho! Too much health? No. Okay, good. Gonna give us some more health. Whoa, that's a big health upgrade, actually. That seems to be the one to do. That's rocketed her into the realm of almost normal health. So where are these guys base? They must be based around here somewhere. If not, this is a good spot for me. Although I did see a T-Rex, so maybe I should not be around here. Ho ho! Oh wow, there's a degree of air control with uh, Gallimimus. You can actually move in the air, defying all gravity. Okay, where am I at? Is this it? Is this their base? Oh, hello! Is that? Oh! Hello! I wonder if I can kill. I can kill his. They're out. That they're not here. Maybe I can kill his dinosaur, or tame it. It's not set to attack me, at least. Yeah, just see what they got in their base. Oh, hello, there's a parasaur here. Oh, this is tricky. This is there's a cage? What's this? Gravestone. The tribe of Dodo, rip and peace, slayed the parasaur. <laughs> you will be missed. Oh, poor dude. Okay, what's going on in here? Any metal? Oh yeah, a bit of metal. I'll take some of that. What's this as well? Metal ore? I'll take a bit of metal. Yeah. What's in the smithy pod? Smithy. Oh, crystal. I've never had any crystal before. Take some of that. Oh, it's a bit heavy, isn't it? Let's put some berries in here. Nice little present for them. Maybe I'll uh, light a fire, see if they notice that it's been uh, somebody here. Oh, what's this? Oh, storage. Preserving bin. Ah, I see. Ingenious. I need a preserving bin. That'll make uh, my meat last much longer. Looks like it hasn't helped them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Goldilocks here. Mm. Oh! Can't open that door. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> How do I leave? The Paris is too quick. Well, I found <laughs> what looks like Simon. I don't think he saw me though. What the hell? Where are their other dudes? Well, this is their base. Okay. I know exactly where they are now. So let's see if we can set up our own base nearby to here. Not too close. So we can't risk them discovering us accidentally. I'll make a forward base down on the beach, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh I know where they are now. But this right here looks like the perfect place to set up shop. Oh, yeah, they might find this, maybe, but chances are they won't. I'm, I'm quite far away, and even if they do, I can defend myself. I can train some dinosaurs to slay anybody that gets near. Oh, yeah, if I can train myself some raptors or some dilos, I can have just security guards in the form of aggressive, aggressive uh, carnivores. Until next time, guys, this has been the Prehistoric Punk, and I look like one right now with this, uh, with this hairdo. Holy crap. Join me next time when uh, we confront, uh, maybe I'll confront them, maybe I'll visit them in the night and see if I can just capture one of them and put them in a cage. Oh yeah. Until next time guys, take care.